So you like fishing, but get tired of not catching anything. Check this out. I got one. It's a big one. It's a dogfish. Look at the bend on that rod. So all you need is a dog and a rod. Be mostly there. No hooks involved. Learn more at mydogfishing.com. So here's a couple of quick little techniques that I like. So first off, is just bouncing the ball. I call this a yo-yo, right? Right above them, just bounce it. And that keeps them jumping. Then there's the run along, whoops. Oh, she's got it. <laughs> and he's got it, which can sometimes be a problem. So what I do is I come over here to the handle and I grab it. And also this is a great way to teach them to let go. Drop it, drop it, drop, good boy. Okay, so then take it in a little bit and dropping it just in front of them and pulling it out. Ah, oh, she's got it. <laughs> she absolutely loves this thing. She has so much fun. Maggie. Oh, and also here's your tension on, at least on this type of reel. So on this one, I readjust the tension all the time. <laughs> so this one I call run along ball where I just keep her running <laughs> then this is walk the dog so just pull just keep a little tension and and it keeps her her, uh, her chewing and walking and I can literally walk them around the yard uh, with this which is kind of a fun way to walk the dog the fake throw Wanna? Casting, much like your regular old casting, is this. Flip it and toss it. Once it gets out there, reel it right back. Keep them running. Keep them running. There you go. <laughs> okay, so this is a lot of fun. Just simple circles. Now look at the exercise on there. Now what you can do is if you're getting good, you can then do figure eights. And this really gets the dogs going, gets their muscles happening. And uh, she has actually lost weight doing this. So the run and bounce back technique is literally getting it out there. Or I'll just tease her with this. Oh, this is what I call Luke Skywalker. Remember in that scene in the Millennium Falcon where he's sitting there with the lightsaber and it's zapping him? That's, that's what this is for her. So run and bounce back. She literally runs after it and I bounce it back just before she gets it. And she nails it and so does he. So one very common thing that happens is this gets so much tension on it without a snap swivel here. And actually I haven't tried a snap swivel because I haven't had it since I've been in lockdown. Um, is this starts to get uh, twisted up and it wraps around the end. So every now and then you have to un unwrap that, very simple to do. And then you're back and able to reel. This is also fun to do is flip your reel so that it pulls. So you're free reeling. But don't let it go too fast or you'll end up with a mess of string. So once she's calm, eventually she'll let go of it. So I just let it sit there. Then all of a sudden when she's not expecting it, pop it up. And that just brings her right back to life. So here's a fun technique. It's very simple. I hold it about where the knot is, not necessarily on the loop. And I just toss. But you have to be careful because it goes really far. And this one could either be called the helicopter or the hammer toss. <laughs> this is a nice simple way to attach the ball to the rod if you don't already have a snap swivel. Obviously all hooks need to be removed. Take your line, doubling it up and forming a double loop and a single loop. Then push the single loop through the double loop like so and pull it through to form a knot. Now you have a single loop to attach your ball. 
Next, take the string from the ball, put it through the new loop on your fishing line. Then the string loop goes around the ball and pull through. You may get caught up a little on this knot, but just go around that and pull it snug. If your line breaks, or you have to cut it to go back to fishing, this fishing line loop will slide right off the handle easily. Have fun and never let your dog get tangled up or pull too hard. 